Hello, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how to customize the Wicked Viewer that is available within the Apache ISIS framework. So what I've done is I've run the Quick Start archetype. You can see the uh, command to run is just here. And uh, over on my console, you can see I ran the command, and I then built the command, and there's the result. And then in Eclipse, I've loaded that code up, and there it is. Now. Um, this demo, what I'm going to show you is how to extend the GUI so that we can also show uh, our little to-do items in a map. Now to do that, I've brought down some additional code. This is from um, a GitHub repo, in fact my GitHub repo, and the details of it are here, as you can see. And uh, you just need to clone that and then import that uh, project into your workspace. So if you've done all that, then you'll have this setup here. Now the next thing to do, and the last thing to do really, is to just search through the um, generated archetype and look for GMAP3 and you'll find a bunch of um, comments and uh, you can then uncomment the code. So this has already been done in, by me in most of the cases, so we have a change here in the parent my app pom. We've also got some changes in the uh, domain class, so to do item has now got a, a, a property called a location. So um, that's that. We've also got a change in the repository just to set a random location for each of these to-do items. And uh, there's a change here just to bring in the dependency to this applib project as well. And the last change, the only final change, I'm going to leave commented out just so we can look at the application sort of before and after. So let's run the application up. And here we go. In just a second, let's see, there we are. Okay, let's go back to our web browser. And uh, by default, uh, we have no data, so we'll just load some sample data. And then we'll list all of our to-do items that are not yet complete. And so um, we can see that there's this new location property representing the latitude, longitude, and I can look at one of my to-do items and I will be able to see the latitude and longitude. And the user interface hasn't yet been customized because we've not yet made that last final change. So let's uh, go and do that now. So let me just uh, stop this chat. So the last change I need to do is uh, in the viewer web app project, I just need to uncomment this final dependency and this is going to make available the, the, the widget, the, the bit of UI code that's going to do the rendering and integrate with Google Maps 3. So let's uh, run one more time. And we're starting again, so I'll need to reinstall the fixtures, the sample data, because uh, this uh, archetype is set up with. Uh, uh, persisting to a database, but persisting to an in-memory uh, database. So here we go, we're going to install the data, we'll do our listing again, and it looks the same, uh, we've got the location, but in fact there's a new little button here which is to show uh, the map, uh, and so that was not there last time round, we'll click on that, and now we can see that we've got a representation of those five to-do items but rendered on a list on a map and I've kind of got the location randomly chosen somewhere in East London it would look like and I can click through and I can look at one of the to-do items and then again over here we've got a dependencies collection so one to-do item can depend upon another to-do item you can see at the moment that um, there are no dependencies but we've still got this little button here to uh, to look at the dependencies let me add a dependency so buying stamps depends upon me getting laundry apparently and so that's rendered in a normal fashion or I can click on the new button there and I can see that where it lives in in London somewhere okay so there we are that's a quick demo um, try it out thanks